They still play like in the old days. Once a year, Durham is the glorious centre of the coal fields. The last of the mines closed 18 years ago, but today no one will let that dampen their spirits. People have come from the surrounding area and the rest of the country to Durham. The delegation from Bolden is on the way. The festival organisers had invited them to bring a new banner for the big parade. Cheers here, boyo. We've got the committee organised together, um, and then you uh, then just go about to try and raise the money in the phones for to get a banner because a banner a banner can cost you up to ten thousand pound. The Bolton Colliery Group raised enough money, so it's not coming to Durham empty-handed. It's almost like in the old days. Each precious silk banner is carried accompanied by a brass band. The guests of honour have assembled as usual on the balcony of the Royal County Hotel. Union officials, leftist politicians and one of the Chilean miners who was rescued so spectacularly last year. The Durham miners are proud of their overseas connections. It was always is still an international organisation. We've embraced internationalism and we've had miners from all over the world, from Australia, from America, from Russia, from everywhere at some stage. The first procession was held about 140 years ago. Only a major event can cause a Durham Gala to be cancelled, like a world war or a huge strike. In the past, up to 300,000 people would gather for it. For the local people, it's still a big event, though it's looking a little thinner these days. There was a hundred bands came in when I was, over a hundred, when I first came in playing. But now I think it's only about 50. This is the one event in the year, I think, that, um, that represents uh, the working class and the solidarity of the trade union movement with the labour movement, the wider labour movement, that uh, sadly isn't isn't around as much now. Why? We've been coming for years, yes. like, but it's, I'm not keen on it tonight. Many people wish they could ignore such grumbles. They wish the unions were as strong as ever, and they're nostalgic about the class struggle spirit and rhetoric of yesteryear. Believe me, if it still gets about 60,000, there is nothing else in Britain that can compare with it. We have a toll puddle martyrs down in Dorset that might attract four or five thousand, but this is by far the greatest, and it is a tribute to the Durham uh, people in particular, but also a lot of people in the Labour movement that want to keep this thing going. The old Labour movement has lost much of its influence, and cultivating folklore traditions can't solve the problems that have beset the coal fields since the demise of the industry. What I'm sad about is that um, the, uh, not, I mean, the culture hasn't died, but what I'm sad about is that our villages are dying uh, in lots of ways. There isn't the uh, work for young people. We have problems in the villages that we didn't have before. We have a drug problem in the, in the villages, and that's very disturbing. And despite you know, a lot of hard work by local councillors, uh, we, we are... Um, bereft of, uh, of incoming capital that would, that would change things. It begins to rain and the music is more solemn now. This, for many, is actually the climax of the event. The Bolden Group and others parade to Durham Cathedral where their new banners receive the blessings of the church. The annual ritual nears its conclusion. Some people head for a beer in the pub, while others pack up. The group from Bolden drives back to its mining village that lost its mines a long time ago. Next year, they'll be back in Durham for another gala.